Hello, I'm Sarah, and I make videos on mental health and wellness. Sometimes I do them from this cozy spot on my floor, because why not? I am on day 10 or 11 of a sinus infection, so... I also have a cat on my lap. Her name's Lolita. I'm not a mental health professional. They seem to prefer chairs. But I have been in remission from borderline personality disorder for over two years, and I spend a lot of time studying the topics that I discuss on this channel. Today's topic is related to DBT. Even though dialectical behavior therapy is often used for BPD treatment, this video is not just for people with BPD. DBT has been shown to be an effective treatment for people with other conditions, and DBT can help anyone learn to better manage difficult thoughts and emotions or problematic behaviors. My last video was a full intro to DBT if you want more information, but this video is going to focus on DBT self-help materials. These self-help materials help teach the concepts and skills of DBT, but they don't actually provide dialectical behavior therapy. DBT as a full therapy has multiple components, and a comprehensive program might be more helpful for you depending on your symptoms and needs. But DBT skills are the core component of DBT. They're traditionally taught in a group setting, but there are resources to help you learn and practice those skills on your own or in addition to that group work. In this video, I'll be reviewing and breaking down these books for this purpose. Ta-da! But I want to clearly reiterate that these materials are not a replacement for therapy. Please go see the people in chairs if you can and need to. Now let's get to it. First up is a classic that I've mentioned before and that you may already be familiar with, the Dialectical Behavior Therapy Skills Workbook. This one's been around for a while, and doctors often recommend it because people find it incredibly helpful. This is where I first started learning about DBT. I do have some critiques of this book, but first I'll explain how it works. As I mentioned in my last video, DBT skills are broken down into four categories. Distress tolerance, mindfulness, emotion regulation, and interpersonal effectiveness. This book is organized by these categories. Each of them has a basic skills chapter, which teaches the main concepts of the skill and teaches you how to start developing it. Then they each have an advanced chapter, which takes you through the remaining steps of the skill. Distress Tolerance and Mindfulness both have a bonus chapter that takes those skills even further. There's also a chapter on exposure-based cognitive rehearsal, where you basically trigger yourself in a controlled manner so that you can practice using these skills in a state more similar to the state you'd be in when you want to use them in real life. And finally, there's a chapter called Putting It All Together, which has practices to help you maintain your emotional and mental health and continue to strengthen your skills. This book is full of examples and exercises to help you understand and practice these skills, and it includes worksheets that are also available for download. I like highlighting in books, but I don't like writing in them so I appreciate that they let you download those for free. Overall, the Dialectical Behavior Therapy Skills Workbook is incredibly informative. It really goes in depth with its explanations, examples, and exercises. But I think the extent of that depth may be problematic for self-teaching, especially for someone who's new to DBT. To me, this feels like a textbook. I really enjoy reading nonfiction, and I'm incredibly interested in this topic, and I still find it hard to get through these chapters. There's no guidance for structured learning, so you're really on your own when it comes to using this book. Whether you want to do the basics chapters first, and then go back and do the advanced, or do them all at once, is up to you. There's no recommendation for how many skills or exercises to work on at a time, or how often to use the book. There is something smaller that bothers me about this workbook, and I don't know how many people would agree, but it's my video. They have quite a few exercises that have long prompts you're supposed to follow with your eyes closed. And they say if you don't think you'll remember the prompts, that you can take out your phone and record yourself reading them and then play it back for yourself as you follow the prompt with your eyes closed. In theory, that extra step could help cement the exercise in your mind. But personally, it makes me more likely to skip the exercise entirely. If they make a third edition of this book, I think it'd be awesome if they added a URL that you could go to and listen to pre-recorded prompts if you want to follow along with them that way. Then at least you'd still have a way to do the exercise if you don't want to go through your phone and record them yourself. There's also no index. 
I recently wanted to quickly reference something in here and I couldn't believe that there wasn't an index. There's way too much information in this book for there to not be an index. But like I said, overall this workbook is very informative and I don't want my critiques to make it seem like I don't think this book's helpful. Everyone learns differently and if you want to get really deep into DBT, this is a great resource. Especially if you already have some basic knowledge on the skills and concepts. But if you think the amount of information may overwhelm you and that you'd benefit from something more basic with a guided learning structure, I found a book that may be a better choice for you. First, I want to briefly talk about these, since they're among the top results when you search for DBT books and they're written by Dr. Marsha Linehan herself. Since these are written by the founder of DBT, you may think that they'd be a good resource for learning the skills and concepts, but they aren't. They aren't meant for self-teaching. While that last book was kind of like a textbook, this book is like the teacher's manual for leading skills groups. And this contains handouts and worksheets that go with these specific lesson plans. I only have these books because I'm a DBT nerd. Could you get some information from them? Sure, but they're pretty expensive and they're not nearly as helpful as actual self-help resources. The worksheets and handouts can be helpful if you're working through them with your therapist. And if you are in a skills group, you may be required to buy and use this along with their lessons. That's what it's meant for. But if you're only learning DBT skills on your own, I wouldn't recommend it. Instead, I would recommend this book that just came out in 2023 and is already my new favorite. It's called Self-Directed DBT Skills, Three-Month DBT Workbook. I think my main problems with the other workbook stem from the fact that while the authors are well-qualified mental health professionals, I couldn't find anything indicating that they specialize in DBT in any way. They clearly understand the subject matter well and can provide thorough information, but they seem to lack some insight on how to practically present the information for an effective learning experience, especially for people who are new to DBT. That's what sets this book apart. It's written by the teachers. The authors are both DBT Linehan board certified clinicians, which means that they are specifically trained and experienced in DBT. They understand how Dr. Linehan intends skills to be taught, what makes her methods uniquely effective, and how they play out with patients in real life. The authors have used that knowledge to come up with their own self-help adaptation of a skills group curriculum, and I think that they've executed it beautifully. Here's how it works. As the title implies, it's meant to be done in three months with a chapter per week. These chapters are grouped by skills category, starting with mindfulness, since as Dr. Linehan writes in her own manual, let me grab my copy. Mindfulness skills are central to DBT. The core skills are the first skills taught and they underpin and support all the other DBT skills. Like I said, these authors really managed to stay true to Dr. Linehan's DBT model while adapting it for self-help. Each chapter explains a concept and skills and has exercises to help you understand, reinforce, and make it easier to use those skills. The main chapter and exercises are meant to be done in one sitting, but that can very reasonably be done in under an hour, probably closer to 30 to 45 minutes. There are also some homework exercises to keep you thinking about and developing these skills throughout the week. Since this workbook does present a structured learning format, make sure to read the notes written in blue in each chapter next to the exercises. They're short, but they provide important information and context. My only real problem with this book is that you can't download the worksheets. They're mostly simple, so they can be recreated in a notebook, but I still think it's nice to have the option to print them, especially if you want to go through these chapters more than once. It does have an index, though. And something little that I really enjoyed. On page 40, they explain that thought and behavior patterns can be changed in our brains through conscious and repeated effort. That's not directly a DBT skill. But without understanding it's possible to make these types of changes, there's no good reason to even try. Which is exactly why I covered the same topic on my second video on this channel. I made that video months before I bought this book, but we used the same metaphor and broke it down the same way. It kind of blew my mind to read that page because it was like reading a synopsis of my own video. So it really reinforced the fact that I totally align with these authors' approach to teaching this subject. Like I said, 
This is my new favorite and would currently be my top pick if someone were looking for a recommendation. The chapters are all easy to read and understand, while still effectively teaching the skills and concepts. The chapters all build off of one another, so you can feel yourself making progress, and you continue to use and reinforce previous skills as you learn how to apply them to the new ones. And the guidance and structure makes this a program you can realistically complete in three months. So I do think it's the best choice for someone who's new to DBT or struggles with unstructured self-learning. It doesn't cover all the DBT skills or get into as much depth, so if you want something more thorough and less basic, the Dialectical Behavior Therapy Skills Workbook might be a better choice for you. Please let me know what you think if you try either of these. I'm curious if anyone agrees with me. If you're interested in any of these books, I have links in this video's description. When you use those specific links to order, you benefit this channel at no extra cost to you. So if you're going to use Amazon anyway, I'd really appreciate the support. I'm still going to review these DBT flashcards in an upcoming video, and I'll have another one discussing Dr. Daniel Fox's BPD workbook and deck. I originally planned on including that workbook in this video, but since it's specific to BPD and DBT is not, I figured it would be better in a separate video. If you're interested in those reviews or any other topics related to BPD, mental health, wellness, or self-improvement, please subscribe to my channel. There's plenty more where that came from. And if you ever struggle to manage the different areas of your life and keep yourself on track, like I have lately, my next video is for you. I hope to see you there. Peace. I feel like I should set up a second camera so you guys can watch me pet Lolita while I talk. <laughs> Would that be a good idea?